Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Saf and in this video we will talk about memory and time profiling and also create our own profiler to track memory and time consumption. So be with us till the end and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's get started. First understand what is profiling. Profiling is a way to monitor the consumption of memory and time by a function or a method. There are lot of memory and time profiling libraries there like memory profiler, trace malloc, C profile, etc. Memory profiler is very good module for monitoring memory consumption of a process as well as line by line analysis of memory consumption for python program. But sometime we only need to know the overall consumption of memory and time taken by a function to log the details and avoid crashing in development. And also we have to use different profiler for time and memory to track consumption which is not an efficient way. For that we create our own profiler which track both memory and time in same go. Memory profiler is built on top of PSUtil. PSUtil also known as Python system and process utilities. It is a cross platform library for retrieving information on running process and system utilization in Python. We also use PSUtil to create our own profiler. Let move to the Jupyter lab. Create empty python file, rename it to profiler, import os, import time to track time consumption, import psutil. psutil give memory details in bytes to convert into human readable format, import bytes to human library of psutil. First create a function to get the memory consumed by process. Create a function get process memory. Get the current process using psutil. Pass the current process id. For that type os.getpid. Return the process memory information. After getting the process, type process dot memory info dot RSS. RSS represent resident set size, the non swapped physical memory that a task has used. Let create a function track and pass the current function as input. Create another inner function main where all tracking is done under it and pass args keyword to send a list of value to a function and also pass quarks send a dictionary with values associated with keywords to a function. Arg and quag keywords allow you to pass a variable number of argument to a python function. First get the current memory status before the function run. Save the current time in the start variable. Now we ran the function that we passed. After the function end, 
we need to estimate the time taken to run the function. Let's create a separate function for time elapsed. And pass start as input as it stores the start time. Return time consumed by a function in structure format. Now get the time elapsed. Check the current memory status after the function ran. Let create a print statement to pass the detail back to the user. First give the function name. Second is memory before function run. We also have to convert bytes to human readable memory format as bsutil give memory details in bytes. Another one is memory after function. Also give details about total memory consumed by a function. And lastly, give the details about execution time of a function. Return the result. And then return what main function return. Our profiler is created for profiling both memory and time simultaneously. Let's check it now. Create an empty Jupyter notebook. First import the profiler. Now create a simple function which consumed some memory. Now to track the memory and time consumption, just put the track as decorator above the function as it done in memory profiler library and rest will taken care by that. Run it, call the function. Run it. Here you see detail about memory and time consumption as memory consume is 168 kb but in time it show 00, 0 as due to the program is very simple and it may run in millisecond let's do one thing 
use time slip to track time whether it working fine or not import time put time dot slip 10 second now run again as it delay in execution by 10 second here you see time is 10 second as we will delay the program by 10 second let increase the array size put range to 1 million run again here you see memory consumed increases by 38.6 mb and time is still 10 second because we provide delay of 10 second it working fine i hope from this video you got better understanding of memory and time profiling and you can also use this in your development to track changes in memory and time whenever it needed and i hope everything is clear to you but if in case you face any kind of difficulty in understanding any part of this topic please leave a comment below and i will try to help you with that that's all from my side for this video i hope you like the video so don't forget to like the video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do subscribe my channel and press bell icon to never miss an update about our videos till then happy learning